12. Case classified as an excusable and compensable delay causes. 1. Delayed drawings or instructions. If the contractor suffers delay and or incurs cost as a result of a failure of the engineer to issue the notified drawing or instruction within a time which is reasonable and is specified in the notice with supporting details, the contractor shall give a further notice to the engineer and shall be entitled subject to subclause 20.1 Contractor's Claims to a. An extension of time for any such delay, if completion is or will be delayed, under subclause 8.4 Extension of time for completion, and b. Payment of any such cost plus reasonable profit, which shall be included in the contract price. 2. Right of access to the site. If the contractor suffers delay and or incurs cost as a result of a failure by the employer to give any right or possession within such time, the contractor shall give notice to the engineer and shall be entitled subject to subclause 20.1. Contractor's claims to a. An extension of time for any such delay, if completion is or will be delayed, under subclause 8.4. Extension of time for completion b. Payment of any such cost plus reasonable profit, which shall be included in the contract price. 3. Setting out. If the contractor suffers delay and or incurs cost from executing work which was necessitated by an error in these items of reference, and an experienced contractor could not reasonably have discovered such error and avoided this delay and or cost. The contractor shall give notice to the engineer and shall be entitled subject to subclause 20.1. Contractor's claims to a. An extension of time for any such delay, if completion is or will be delayed, under subclause 8.4. Extension of time for completion. b. Payment of any such cost plus reasonable profit, which shall be included in the contract price. 4. Unforeseeable physical conditions. If and to the extent that the contractor encounters physical conditions which are unforeseeable, gives such a notice, and suffers delay and or incurs cost due to these conditions, the contractor shall be entitled subject to subclause 20.1 Contractor's Claims to a. An extension of time for any such delay, if completion is or will be delayed under subclause 8.4 extension of time for completion and b payment of any such cost which shall be included in the contract price 5 fossils the contractor shall upon discovery of any such finding promptly give notice to the engineer who shall issue instructions for dealing with it if the contractor suffers delay and or incurs cost from complying with the instructions the contractor shall be entitled subject to subclause 20.1 Contractor's Claims to a. An extension of time for any such delay, if completion is or will be delayed, under subclause 8.4 Extension of time for completion, and b. Payment of any such cost, which shall be included in the contract price. 6. Testing if the contractor suffers delay and or cost from complying with engineer's instructions or as a result of a delay for which the engineer is responsible, the contractor shall be entitled subject to subclause 20.1 Contractor's Claims to a. An extension of time for any such delay, if completion is or will be delayed, under subclause 8.4 Extension of time for completion, and b. Payment of any such cost, which shall be included in the contract price. 7. Consequences of suspension. If the contractor suffers delay and or incurs cost from complying with the engineer's instructions under subclause 8.8 .8, Suspension of work and or from resuming the work, the contractor shall give notice to the engineer. The contractor shall be entitled subject to subclause 20.1 Contractor's Claims to a. An extension of time for any such delay, if completion is or will be delayed, 
under subclause 8.4 extension of time for completion and b payment of any such cost which shall be included in the contract price 8 interference with tests on completion if the contractor suffers delay and or incurs cost as a result of this delay in carrying out the tests on completion the contractor shall be entitled subject to subclause 20.1 contractors claims to a an extension of time for any such delay if completion is or will be delayed under subclause 8.4 extension of time for completion and b payment of any such cost which shall be included in the contract price 9 adjustments for changes in legislation if the contractor suffers or will suffer delay and or incurs or will incur additional cost as a result of these changes in the laws or in such interpretations made after the base date, the contractor shall give notice to the engineer. The contractor shall be entitled subject to subclause 20.1 contractor's claims to a an extension of time for any such delay if completion is or will be delayed under subclause 8.4 extension of time for completion and b payment of any such cost which shall be included in the contract price 10 contractors entitlement to suspend the works if the contractor suffers delay and or incurs cost as a result of suspending work or reducing the rate of work in accordance with this subclause the contractor shall give notice to the engineer. The contractor shall be entitled subject to subclause 20.1 Contractor's claims to a. An extension of time for any such delay, if completion is or will be delayed, under subclause 8.4 Extension of time for completion, and b. Payment of any such cost, which shall be included in the contract price. 11. Consequences of employer's risks. If the contractor suffers delay and or incurs cost as a result of suspending work or reducing the rate of work in accordance with this subclause, the contractor shall give notice to the if the contractor suffers delay and or incurs cost from rectifying this loss or damage, the contractor shall give a further notice to the engineer and shall be entitled subject to subclause 20.1 contractor's claims to a an extension of time for any such delay if completion is or will be delayed under subclause 8.4 extension of time for completion and b payment of any such cost which shall be included in the contract price in the case of subparagraphs F and G of subclause 17.3, employers' risks, reasonable profit on the cost shall also be included. 12. Consequences of force measure. If the contractor suffers delay and or incurs cost as a result of suspending work or reducing the rate of work in accordance with this subclause, the contractor shall give notice to the if the contractor is prevented from performing any of his obligations under the contract by force measure of which notice has been given under subclause 19. 2. Notice of force measure, and suffers delay and or incurs cost by reason of such force measure. The contractor shall be entitled subject to subclause 20.1. Contractor's claims, to a. An extension of time for any such delay, if completion is or will be delayed, under subclause 8.4, extension of time for completion, and b. If the event or circumstances of the kind described in subparagraphs of subclause 19.1, definition of force measure, and, in the case of subparagraphs, occurs in the country, payment of any such cost.